Good afternoon. You are listening to the Carolina's Christian Voice, 100.9 The Cross. And every Wednesday, we talk to faculty and staff members at Robinson Community College in Lumberton, North Carolina. At Robinson Community College, they continue to enhance their offerings of health science programs. In 2022, RCC launched its first medical sonography program, which is a growing sector of medicine, offering opportunities for graduates to find jobs by becoming employed in a high-paying field. To tell us more about this, my guest this afternoon is Lindsay Norris, the program director of the medical sonography program at Robison Community College. So let's say good afternoon to Lindsay. How are you this afternoon? I'm doing great. I hope you are too. I'm doing fine. Thank you very much for asking, Lindsay. And as we begin, could you please tell us more about medical sonography? Yes, so the medical sonography program at Robinson Community College is a very rigorous, competitive curricular program that provides the knowledge and clinical skills in the application of high-frequency sound waves to image internal body structures. Coursework includes physics, cross-sectional anatomy, abdominal, introductory, vascular, and obstetrical and gynecological sonography. The student will learn how to perform ultrasounds using the proper equipment that can help physicians in the discovery of abnormalities, masses, cancer growth, polyps, and as most people would understand, allow a doctor to monitor the progression of pregnancy, which gives a doctor the ability to know in real time the health of the unborn child. Ultrasound technology can also be used to view the thyroid and monitor nodules that may be present in those who have thyroid disease. It's used as another tool to determine if a patient may have breast cancer, and sonography can be used to determine the health of arteries to see if a patient has blood clots. It gives doctors an inside view of the body and internal organs without being invasive and this program will train individuals how to properly use the equipment and run the scans needed during examinations ordered by a physician. Now Lindsay, it appears that healthcare has become quite specialized. So it is great that RCC is training people in this field here in Robison County. Now you touched on this a bit earlier, but when a student completed the sonography program, what is the next step? Where do they find employment? When students complete the program, they may be eligible for employment in clinics, mobile services, hospitals, educational institutions, and physicians' offices, which may include OBGYN clinics or vascular clinics. Sonography is a very broad, as I mentioned earlier, so students can choose to become more specialized, such as working with an OBGYN office and performing ultrasounds on fetuses and monitoring the growth of the fetus, or they can work in endocrinology, performing ultrasounds on the thyroid. If the student enters the workforce as a medical sonographer, in a hospital setting, they will be prepared to work on a spectrum of examinations from performing ultrasounds on the abdominal area, on the arteries of the body, or multiple ultrasound examinations in the OBGYN concentration. The first class of our program will be graduating this October, and many of them already have jobs lined up. This program was started because of the demand by our local health care providers. The need is great for medical sonographies, and this program is helping to meet that need in our area. Also, currently, we have three cohorts, and we will be adding a fourth cohort next August. My guest this afternoon is Lindsay Norris, the program director of the medical sonography program at Robinson Community College in Lumberton, North Carolina. And for someone that may be interested in the program, what kind of classes can they expect to take? Okay, so in the medical sonography program, there is intro to sonography, abdominal sonography one and two, sonographic physics, gynecological sonography, obstetrical sonography, vascular sonography, case studies, and medical sonography. And of course, students will complete various hours in the clinical setting with our healthcare partners in the area. Well, sounds great. As you mentioned, Lindsay, there will be new classes beginning in August. Now, if someone is listening and they're interested, what would they need to do to take part in these classes? If you're interested in enrolling in the medical sonography program, we ask that you visit our website at www.robison.edu, click the Academics menu, and then the Health Sciences tab. Then lastly, select Medical Sonography to get to our program webpage. There you will find the application and a lot of other helpful information about the program. Students admitted to the program must have successfully completed the following courses with a C or higher prior to enrolling in the first sonography class. Bio 163, which is basic anatomy and physiology, or Bio 168 and 169, anatomy, physiology 1 and 2. 
MED 120, which is Survey of Medical Terminology, Physics 110, which is Conceptual Physics, and Physics 110A, Conceptual Physics Lab. Applicants must have a GPA of 3.0 or greater in the Medical Stenography General Education courses by the published deadline date for submitted completed program checklist to the admissions office. The GPA calculation will be based upon grades earned in the courses I mentioned earlier, including English 111, COM 231, or English 112, Math 143, Social Behavior Science Elective, and a Humanities Fine Arts Elective. Also on the webpage, you will find a schedule of upcoming information sessions we have available here at the college. Our information sessions are about an hour long, and they will provide you more information about the sonography program, and you will be able to hear directly from me or the program's clinical coordinator. Well, I'm talking this afternoon to Lindsay Norris, the program director of the medical sonography program at Robinson Community College. And sounds like a great program and sounds like a program that gives a firm foundation in medical sonography. As we wrap things up this afternoon, Lindsay, is there anything else that you'd like to mention? Yes, Mark. I do want to mention that we are currently registering for our eight-week classes that begin on October 16th. If you are interested in the medical sonography program, this is a great opportunity to get many of those general education class requirements that I mentioned earlier out of the way and completed. There are many completely online classes available as well as face-to-face -face opportunities. You can visit our website at www.robinson.edu to see complete class schedules. Medical sonography is a great field to study and gain employment in, but please remember that Robinson Community College also offers associate degree nursing, practical nursing, respiratory therapy, surgical technology, radiography, and emergency medical sciences. These are all great programs that will provide you with the skills necessary to obtain employment in the healthcare setting. RCC also offers many other programs of study outside of healthcare in business, industrial technologies, education, law enforcement, and cosmetology, as well as hundreds of short-term training programs, and we would love to help you discover which program is the right fit for you. Just visit us in Building 13 on the main campus in Lumberton or at our new location in Pembroke at 62 Union Chapel Road, and we will help you find your passion and help chart a new course for you. Also in October, there are many other events planned, including a flu clinic on October 1st, our RCC Foundation Golf Tournament on October 3rd, Fall Festival at our ComTech location on October 17th, a CCP Open House on October 24th, and our third annual Homecoming Week, October 28th to November 1st, which will include a special Halloween event and a Better Skills, Better Jobs Career Fair on October 29th. To learn more about any of these events, just visit our website at www.robinson.edu. And of course, if I can be of any assistance to you in regard to the medical sonography program, please feel free to reach out to me at 910-272-3238 or lnorris at robinson.edu. Very good. My guest this afternoon has been Lindsay Norris, the program director of the medical sonography program at Robinson Community College. And Lindsay, thank you for taking time to be with us this afternoon. Thank you so much.